we must understand is the reason the shepherd has to rescue the sheep is because the sheep has gotten on a territory of a lion and the lion has taken advantage of the sheep and he has not only roared at the sheep not only he frightened the sheep not only he intimidated the sheep and not only he took few bites of the sheep but he started to devour the sheep until out of the sheep was only left two bones and piece of an ear my friends the reality of life and you saw a little video when Lilia was presenting of a demons coming out of people the reality of life is this is in this world we have an invisible world and an invisible world that is the devil devil is not a Halloween custom devil is not just a, a, a myth for evil it's not just a name for the evil that is happening in the world he's not just a cool theme for the Hollywood films devil is a real enemy that is responsible for all the evil that is in this world he is as real as you and I actually as real as every evil heartache pain that is in this world and this devil he's not just a lion that walks around roaring we see in this scripture this lion is ruthless this lion has no feelings this lion cannot be negotiated this lion cannot be simply convinced or you cannot cry to him to let him know to leave you alone this lion is on a leash this lion has an assignment and this assignment is to kill destroy and steal i like what saint augustine said about the devil he said the devil is like a mad dog that is chained up he is powerless to harm us when we are outside of his reach but once we enter his circle we expose ourselves again to injury or harm a long time ago in ukraine i had a teacher who was helping me with math and this teacher she was uh, one of the either nurses or the doctors in the medical hospital and she was very brilliant and bright with math she had a dog and this dog was on the leash it was one of the most vicious dogs i came across to always barked at me it barked on anything that moved and i always i was never afraid of the dog i got used to his barks and this barks didn't intimidate me and I would go to her house upstairs she would help me with homework and she would teach me math and I will go back home except this time I didn't think the dog was there and so instead of just simply walking I knew where I had to walk where that dog will not reach me I actually took my liberty and I walked in the places I should have not walked and lo and behold that dog not just barked at me it launched on me and it took a bit a piece of skin right out of my skin until that doctor had to stitch me up and ever since then I have a very interesting respect for chained dogs I've learned that day something very important the dog that is on a chain can bark at you all day long it will intimidate your ears but it won't hurt your body but the moment you cross onto his territory he will no longer bark at you he will bite you my friends that's exactly about satan satan will bark at every person on this earth but he can't bite every person on this earth when you step on his territory and his territory is sin you expose yourself not just to satan's temptation you expose yourself to his assault and to his attack and to his curse can somebody say amen that's why we stay away from sin not because sin offers us pleasure sin offers a certain appeal of pleasure but sin also has a dog that is ready to attack you and take advantage of you not just bark at you but attack you and destroy your life we stay away from sexual sin that's why we stay away from alcohol we stay away from drugs that's why we stay away from lying that's why we stay away from stealing because by not staying away from sin what you are doing is you're stepping on the lion's territory and he will attack you you know it was not that lady's fault what happened to my leg it wasn't that lady's fault what happened to me God is not responsible for what happens to us when we step into the enemy's territory 
God will still rescue us. God will still help us but you cannot blame God for what happens to you when you live a life that is not committed to the Lord. Can somebody say amen? In this lesson we learned there is a ruthless enemy and he's out to roar and also to bite. He's out to bark and he's also to attack and to assault our life.